Okay, just a quick one here just to show you the indicators and how they work. My apologies, it's a wee bit dark, so it's not quite so easy to see, but I guess that when we put the indicators on, it'd be easy to see them actually flashing. So here are the indicators themselves. I made a couple of small brackets. I wanted them just inside of the rack, so they're not gonna get caught in anything when we're going along. So I made some brackets. I actually made out of some old, um, an old bracket off a CB radio, funny enough. And we made two brackets like that to hold those front, those back ones in place. And then, let's have a look. And then the front ones are positioned under the main lights. You might have seen I posted um, when I made the brackets for those or added the brackets for those little lights there. So we got one there. And we got the same on the other side. I kind of like to keep things so they look pretty stock. I kind of like it when you look at the a trike or a bike that I'm modifying, that people don't look at it and go, wow, okay, that's really modified. What has he done to it? I like it when people look at the bike and don't really see the modifications that you've done until you actually show them. So I'll show you here the, uh, the switch that we've used. It's a double switch bought from Amazon, but it's actually brilliant. It's uh, it's a double switch, and this casing here is actually metal. I was surprised when it came because I wasn't expecting it to be such good quality, but it is really excellent quality. This switch, and it was not particularly expensive either, and um, completely waterproof. So absolutely brilliant. Underneath the trike, I'll just quickly show you where I've installed the flasher unit or flasher relay, whatever you call it, want to call it, it's just positioned right under the seat. I doubt you can actually see too much because I think it's a bit too dark right there, but it's just under there anyway is where the, uh, the flasher unit is installed. So let's have a look and we will, excuse the mess in here, I still haven't tied it up from when I've done it properly. Okay, so for the right side we're using that one there and as you can see that switch illuminates you can probably hear the flasher unit also flashing and if we look at the front there there you go they're nice and bright these very tiny these uh these little indicators they're 28 mil by 18 mil so they're not big at all but they're bright as heck and if we look around the back, fold off the back, and there's the right hand one all going. And then oh, switch that one off, turn the other one on, and now we've got the, the right hand one flashing nicely. And the back. And we've got the cat's eye light. So, pretty decent lights on this now. Now the great thing with this switch, because it's a double switch, what you do is you wire it uh, one switch to each side. So you've got the top switch controls the right side, the bottom switch controls the left side. But if you want hazard warnings, just press them both on at the same time and so now you've got your hazard warning lights there we go right in the back and I think that's pretty decent light and easy to see also easily seen that when you know with your actually indicating left. These are not too close together. I think a lot of the little small systems that they sell um, for push bikes are not really suited to, to trikes. In fact, they're not really suited to the road at all because they're so close together. You can't see whether someone's signaling left or right half the time. Whereas with these ones, you certainly can without any problems at all. So there we go. The, uh, as usual, the, uh, everything's powered by the little power bank. If you look at some of my other videos or reviews, you'll see that little power bank, which is meant for starting cars, but you can use any kind of a power bank as long as it's got two 12 volt uh, ports coming out of it. And so that little power bank now 
uh, now powers the put some light over here now powers that speaker there that's a Bluetooth speaker um, which also connects to my phone I can talk over it I can listen to it um, great little speaker that one it wasn't particularly expensive either and completely waterproof um, it connects the uh, the power bank also powers the all the lights the um, indicator system um, and the car horn which as you can see still works I've changed the button since I did that last video on the horn but now you can see the little button right there and yeah so that's it so there we go all installed indicators all functioning and uh, I'm quite pleased with how those work it wasn't terribly expensive either uh, nine pound for the actual indicators themselves about I think it was nine pound for that particular relay there switch was another I can't remember seven eight pounds I think it was wiring altogether I guess probably you're looking at about 35 to 40 pounds um, with everything installed if you do it yourself right Hope you enjoyed it. Cheers. Bye-bye.